everyone and welcome back. Uh, today I'm going to show you how we start a lot of our seed. Uh, if you can see behind me, it's balding. She's at the hair salon getting her hair grown in under the grow lights. Yeah. So this is um, not typically how most people start their seeds. We're doing a lot of growing in uh, grow bags this year. And our method kind of ensures that we have equal spacing in our grow bags for what we're growing and we're not wasting a whole lot of seed um, due to germination problems or that kind of thing. So, here we go. So we're going to be doing a lot of growing in grow bags. This is a uh, little two gallon grow bag. This one's a five gallon and we have some 10 gallons coming. And mostly we're growing um, pollinators in this. We're also planning on growing carrots, beets, spinach, um, that kind of thing. And when you're growing those kind of things, you have to worry about spacing, especially with carrots and beets, because you don't want to crowd them out. And a big problem with traditional seed starting in gardens is you create your row, you sprinkle your carrot seed, which is very, very fine and very small. And then once they germinate, you, you thin them out. You pluck out the seeds, keep the stronger one there, you thin them out so they don't crowd each other out and you get the big fruit. Um, this method here allows us to take the seeds that are germinated and put them where we want to. So this method is pretty simple and easy. Um, you need a regular Ziploc bag. It's a sandwich size bag. Uh, black napkins. We pick these up at the dollar store. There's like 25 for a dollar. Um, you use one per bag. And pretty simply, you open this up like so. Regular water and a, and a spray bottle. and you spritz down your napkin. Pretty easily. And for this one, because the seeds are a little bit bigger and you easily see them, I'm using a Gurney's Goliath spinach. And you basically just space your seeds out. Uh, two benefits to the black paper towel versus a white one is that once you germinate, you can actually see your roots easier. You'll see them spread root on this. Plus, the black kind of simulates them being underground. Uh, very little light goes through them, so they germinate easier. Uh, we've noticed we're getting um, a faster germination rate with this, where this normally would take anywhere from five to nine days. We'll see it in three to five. So basically just spread your seed out on your napkin. Again, you don't want to crowd them. Oop, a little too many there. So we'll just spread these out. <laughs> Fat fingered that one. And what you got as many seeds as you want on the napkin. Give it another spritz to the whole thing. Tape your napkin, fold it over. Press down. Wet it down again. Make sure you label your Ziploc bag. Spinach. Goliath and then put the date down um, today's date is <laughs> 26th so we'll just put 3 26 and that way I know what day these were started I like to gently just fold these over 
Makes it easier. Slide it into your bag. Unfold it in the inside. And that's pretty much it. Zip it up and check them in about three to five days to see if they germinate. What this does for us is I can now, once these are germinated, I can take the germinated seeds and place them where I want to in the grow bag. That way I know I'm not crowding and got equal spacing. I can also, and I'm only planting seeds that germinated. So I don't have to worry about waste or hoping that something germinates out there and it didn't. Um, I can also take seeds here and directly put them in the garden once they're germinated. So I know exactly what's out there and what grew. And if I have any extras, I can also take them and transplant them right into my rock wool for the net cup and then transplant them from there into the hydroponic rails. So it gives me multiple options to do and this way I'm not wasting my time really on seeds that haven't germinated and hoping that they germinate. Uh, it started off with me wasting a lot of rock wool cubes with seeds that just didn't germinate. So, um, that's how we start our seeds around here. I hope this helps someone out. Uh, in case you're wondering what's going on with this. These are all blueberries, raspberries, and chocolate mint. We're getting ready to uh, have a little bit of cold spell here coming in. Our frost date here, 6B, is around April 16th. Is our last frost date so we're just keeping these guys safe indoors right now but we're getting close getting close to getting all out there so again hope this helps somebody out uh, that's how we see started right here and until next time be safe be blessed and we'll see you soon